Welcome to my channel Fusion Data Science. My name is Saeed. Welcome to chapter 20 of SQL. In today's session, I will show you how to join three tables. As I have mentioned earlier that you can do n number of joins. But your first table is always known as the parent table and the rest all table is known as the child table. For joining three tables, you need to create three tables. As you can see that I am creating a table as create table TB1, employee ID as integer employee name as Warcat 10. Warcat 10 means the characters will be fixed. comma age integer as tb1 is already been existing in my database so I need to choose a different da database for the table name so I'm making changes from tb1 to tb7 as till tb1 to tb6 it has been existing in my database so I am choosing it as, selecting it as TB7. Now select the command and execute. Hence the command is executed successfully. Now I need to insert values into the table TB7. So insert into TB7 values or the table name values. You can give the criteria for the field names, employee ID, employee name and age as you wish for. As you can see for employee ID I have given 1. For employee name I have given Sam. And for age I have given 25. I put semicolon never forget to put semicolon at the end of the statement. It will show that your statement is complete. Now copy and paste the command and change the criteria for employee ID, employee name and age. And I will do the rest the same. For inserting three tables, there has to be a primary key in all the three tables so as to form a join. To join the table you need to form a primary key in all the three tables. So I will keep the employee ID for much simplicity I will keep the employee ID as a common primary key. As you can see for the third employee ID I have given the criteria. I am giving the criteria as 3, comma, Allen, comma, 25. Select and execute. Now I want to fetch the data. I want to see the all the tables, all the records of the table TV7. So I'm writing it as select star from TV7. Select and execute. And hence it will get executed. Now I am creating another table. The procedure follows the same. First you need to give the criteria for the tables and then you need to insert values. As for the second table, I am giving it as TB8 and the criteria employee ID and height and both their data types are integer. Now select and execute, the command is executed successfully. Now I am inserting values into the second table. As you can see I am typing insert into TB8 values 1,5. 
Now select the command and execute. Now follow the same procedure for the rest two employee IDs. For the rest two employee IDs. You can form n number of joints as you wish for. Always remember that your parent table will be or the first priority of the parent table will be given to the first table. The rest all table will be considered as the child table. Now I want to see the entire table record so I am writing it as select star from TB8 select and execute and it will show me the records of TB8 or the table name TB8 now I am creating a third table TB9 and the procedure follows the same whereas this time the criteria will be employee ID and weight and both the integers will be in, and both the data types will be their integers and purposefully I will create another employee ID in this table so as to show you the join clearly Now I need to put insert values into table name TB9. As you can see insert into TB9 values. As I am giving the criteria as 1,60. Both the data types are integer. Select and execute. The row has got affected successfully. Copy and paste the rest and change the criteria. As you can see that for the third criteria also I did the same. Select and execute and the row has got affected successfully. Now as I have mentioned that I will show, I will insert another employee ID in this table so as to show you the join clearly. In all the three tables the employee ID is the common primary key. Don't forget to put the semicolons. If I, now if I want to fetch the data to see the TV9 completely so I am typing it as select star from TB9, select and execute and it will show me the record, the database of TB9. Now the primary key in all the three tables is employee ID. As you can see I am typing it as the primary key of all the three tables are is employee ID. You can form n number of joins but to form an n number of joins you need a primary key. Without a primary key you, you cannot form a join in a table. In all the three tables the employee ID is the common. So that forms the primary key. Now the syntax for joining the three tables. It is select star from the parent table, join child table on parent table dot primary key equal to child table dot primary key. Join child table on parent table dot primary key equal to child table dot primary key. Looks a little bit lengthy but is the same as joining as joining of two tables. 
but you need to be careful with the parent table and the child table don't mess with it so select star from parent table join child table on parent table dot primary key parent table is tb7 and child tables are tb8 and tb9 primary key is employee id join child table on primary key equal to primary key parent table dot primary key equal to child table dot primary key so there are two child tables and one parent table the parent table is tb7 and the child tables are tb8 and tb9 so the command is select staff from tb7 inner join or join tb8 on tb7 dot employee id equal to tb8 on employee dot employee id inner join tb9 on tb7 dot employee id equal to tb9 dot employee id as you can see i am writing the command now select star from tv7 inner join tv8 inner join tv8 on tv7 dot employee id equal to tv8 dot employee id inner join tv9 on tv7 dot employee id equal to tv9 dot employee id semicolon select and execute the statement it will show the join of three tables do the same thing for left join right join and full outer join copy and paste the command you will notice one thing that the syntax for inner join and left join is almost the same and syntax for right join and full outer join is almost the same inner join will show you now this is your inner join that is executed it will show you the match records of both the tables left join will show you the left side of the table and the match records of the right side of the table notice one thing in common that the syntax of inner join and left join is almost the same select and execute now copy and paste the command and write it for the right join the right join will show you the match records of the right side of the table it will show you the right side of the table along with the match records of the left side of the table this is your right join and the full outer join will show you the combination of both the two tables select and execute the statement and hence the command is executed successfully and this is the full outer join thanks for watching the video